In Palestine, the foreign minister denounced before the United Nations General Assembly the crimes committed by Tel Aviv, uh, the Tel Aviv uh, regime against the civilians in the Gaza Strip, which has caused the death of more than 7,000 Palestinians. During an extraordinary session of the, the uh, AAG and EU, the, the diplomat affirmed that 70% of the civilians killed are women and children, in addition to the fact that more than 1,600 of his uh, compatriots remain under the rubble with no certainties as uh, to whether they are alive or dead. Likewise, he contrasts uh, the is that Israel wants uh, to free the Tassiyas, uh, but he rejects uh, that for this purpose, Tel Aviv should uh, take 2 million people hostage. And the need to add territory with one of the highest populations uh, then sites in the world, uh, Gessens Ark had in a little threat. There is a sign of bombardment which Ark has in an increasing number of deaths, especially children. With more of current situation, our correspondent Huda Higasi gives us the details. Since the beginning of this war, more than one and a half million Gazatis have had to evacuate their homes. Many of them because either their homes have been bombed or simply because the occupation army had ordered the Gazatis in the north and Zeltaros Gaza Strip to leave for the south. Unfortunately, the south have not been one of the safest areas either. Has more than 55% of bombing have been taking place in this area. There are several people who have decided to take refugee in hospital, such as the Nasser Hospital, where we are. We have several people decide to take refugees. Here, as we can see, most of, most of them have nothing. They have lost their homes. Let's see how they wash their clothes here. They hand them here. They have no place to go. They try to carry out their daily life, but unfortunately, it is very difficult. We can also see here children clothes, all people's clothes, because whole families have proceeded to come here in this hospital, Hospital Nasir of Jan Yunis. In shelters, more than 20,000 Gazatis who have been left homeless or have been evacuated to the south. A very difficult situation because these people, as I said before, have lost their homes. They have nothing. Several of them have lost their families. As we can see here, there is a whole family that has lost their home. They have also lost several members of their family. They assure us that the situation is very difficult. The days are very hot, the nights are very cold, and they live precisely on the charity of the charity of some people. Now we will proceed to talk to one of the relatives of this family that we have seen before to explain us a little bit how they live in the situation here in the hospital. Let's talk about the situation in the hospital. What are the things you are experiencing? First of all, here in the hospital we're lacking everything. We have already run out of medicines and medical supplies. We have run out of everything when treating so many children, women and elderly people. Even the drinking water has run out. The water here in Gaza was contaminated. The international health agencies have not sent us anything. We don't even have any material left to wrap the bodies. There are uncollected bodies. We have become an isolated people from the rest of the world. We call on the WHO to help us because we are facing epidemics and diseases. We are dying slowly. It is a slow execution. As that they have a lot of difficulty in finding food, in finding even drinking water. They have been even warned us that because of the great agglomeration of people in this place, disease and pandemic are beginning to be created. Even the day that they have begun to enter through the borders of Rafah, the border that separates the border of Gaza with the borders of Egypt, have not received anything. Even the food, the treatments, no water that has proceeded to enter the Gaza Strip have not 
seen anything. The population claims that this aid has been stored in warehouses and they have not received anything. Unfortunately, so far, they have not received any of this aid. So the situation of these people is a human situation. They live without basic necessities to live. They have no water, they have no food, they have no place to sleep. They have lost almost everything and so far nobody is doing anything because so far, after 20 days of this war, this event, not a single European country has lifted a finger to stop this humanitarian catastrophe that has Gaza population in experiencing here in the Gaza Strip.